A very popular place to be this weekend, especially with such beautiful weather that we've had. Uh, the sunset tonight was spectacular. Oh, it was. Yeah, I was actually coming back from the Oregon coast this morning, and there was just a parade of cars going out there, ready for the sunshine and the sure. nice weekend that was coming. So I'm sure there's a lot of people out there really enjoying it. 36 degrees coming out of Portland right now. Beautiful view. It's clear. But we may see some fog starting to form. Temperatures are dropping. Dew points at 34. We're getting pretty close there and the wind is calm. So we may have that patchy fog developing around areas of Portland. You can see the temperature forecast now. So yes, mid 30s tonight. But this just kind of looks like winter, right? We have zero. We have single digits. We have 20s all the way down through Atlanta and Charlotte. This is expected as we go through our Sunday afternoon, though. We warm right back on up through the Oregon coast where other parts of the United States are just sitting under winter conditions all the way through Monday. You can see as we kind of speed through below zero temperatures up in Minnesota and the Dakotas by the time we head to Tuesday. By Tuesday morning, we're still about freezing, so we may have some cold air at times here in the Pacific Northwest, but it's mainly just going to be for the morning hours or if you get stuck in an inversion in the valley, which may happen for areas in the lower Columbia Basin. And uh, most locations should stay in the orange, though, close to above average, where the rest of the United States is going to really be feeling that uh, winter air moving on through. Visibility right now down to about a mile or so coming out towards Hillsboro there. Not seeing much for Portland up through Vancouver down to Aurora. And we have some dense fog into Hood River County tonight. Expecting that extending through into areas of Pendleton. So this trip right here from 84 extending to the east. It may be a bit foggy tomorrow and it may even be kind of slick because it's possible that we see some freezing fog through the overnight. Please be careful with that. The visibility forecast is going to show that below a mile, half mile, down to about a quarter of a mile there from Hood River to the Dalles and maybe some patchy fog developing there through areas of the southern Willamette Valley. By the afternoon should clear up across the board and we should see some sunshine for the afternoon and maybe another nice sunset similar to what we had today. There's a freezing fog advisory there till Sunday at 1 p.m. Pendleton extending all the way towards the west. So just be careful if you're going to be doing some traveling around that section and you're familiar with it if you're in that area, but it's going to be uh, definitely foggy. All right, high pressure over the top of us. It's setting up a temperature inversion where it's actually warmer towards the valley because there's not a strong enough wind to kind of stir in some of that warmer air. So we can expect that through the next couple of days. It's just going to feel a little bit cooler here. In fact, we were mentioning earlier up on the mountain right now, it's warmer than Portland. All right, sky cover hasn't been great, but today we did bring in some perfect blue sky, so it was really low for us today. Air quality is starting to go down a little bit, expecting that at night, but we'll see if that continues through the day tomorrow. Air stagnation advisories in place till Wednesday. Tomorrow, maybe some clouds to start the day. Temperatures warming up to near 50 degrees by the afternoon. And that goes for the coast, mid 50s out towards central Oregon, probably the mid 50s. The gorge a little bit colder than that because of that fog I was telling you about. All right, if you're making some plans uh, later in the week, expect more sunshine. Very similar forecast as fog in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon. We have 50s there as we go into Wednesday, Thursday, and then we're watching for some rain Friday and Saturday, Wayne. But for now, I'm going to leave it dry. We'll see if that forecast changes. That's the most consistent seven day, I think, since summer. <laughs> You're probably right. All right. Thanks, Joseph.